Rallo, a rapper from Atlanta, signed to Gucci Man's, uh, I forget the new name of his new, a uh, So Icy Boy, whatever he calls his new label, but, uh, anyways, Rallo signed to Gucci Man, and unfortunately, he got in trouble with the law this week, and, uh, I can't say I didn't see this coming, just because the way he taunts the police and everything, when you piss them off, they start looking for angles, and Shorty Low always liked Rallo. He said, Rallo reminds me of a younger version of me. And, um, you know, him vouching for Rallo meant a lot for me, you know? So I was like, okay, this kid, and I've talked to him a few times in DM long time ago. And, you know, he seems like a good kid, man. So this is, this is bad, man. Uh, I don't like this at all. This is George Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. Today we got CEO Pocket straight out of Memphis. He's got the new video back in. Go check it out now. All his links are below. CEO Pocket, check him out now. And if you want to add to the channel, show entire media at gmail.com. This is what I didn't like what Rally used to do. He used to talk a lot in interviews about what he did in the past, you know, how he made $12 million, only had $3 million left. And then, you know, he's talking about all the bad stuff he did when, you know, maybe the statute limitations aren't up on that stuff yet or, you know... You don't know. First of all, you don't want to be known for that. So he was talking about like two or three years ago, you know, uh, and it was like, you know, it's a little too soon, bro. Maybe you should talk about that stuff in your raps and not talk about it so much and focus more on being a rapper. Um, you know, he would talk about you know, drugs and everything. And it was a little too hot because like they were those the interviews would get a lot of views. And then. He was rolling around in like, he was spending a lot of money, you know, like he'd have Corvettes, crash a Corvette, get a new one, you know, he'd have the the Hemi, uh, and there's nothing wrong with all that, but then he got a Lambo, you know, and then he would see the cops and taunt them on camera. So it's like, you're just pissing them off more and more. So he got arrested on, uh, it's a spooky charge to conspiracy to commit a felony. It just looks like they were reaching, you know, and there's no bail. Now, I think he will make bail, but it, I think they, they arrested him, like, what, a few weeks ago for something with his Lambo. Like, it wasn't, like, registered properly or his license needed to be renewed, something like that. So it's like he's on their radar, and they were looking for, you know, something to get him on. You know, he's talking a lot. He's taunting the police. And the, when you piss the police off, they want you. So, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I hope that he gets out and I hope he's able to beat whatever weird charge that he has money and he has lawyers on retainer. So, I think he'll be okay. And he's a good kid, man. You know, he seems like a good guy. So, I wouldn't want, I definitely wouldn't want anything bad to happen to him. Um, anyways, guys, what do you guys think about this? It's kind of spooky, right? Uh, anyways. This is uh, Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to add the channel, it's Jordan Tower Media at Gmail. Today we got CEO Pocket straight out of Memphis. He's got the new video back in. Go check it out now. All his links are below. CEO Pocket, check him out now. Just hit your bitch from the back end. Picked up a 10 on the back end. Mitch designer, I'm matching.